Oh, he's not gonna kill Kevin. You're a fucking monster. <laughs> yeah, it was no. Uh, he, he's a nice guy now, but that was like the saddest thing I ever saw. The end. Um, I shot a seagull once. I felt really <laughs> horrible about that. <laughs> you shot a seagull. Seagulls are worthless, though. Yeah, we had this. Um, this is. I don't even know if you could do it anymore. But we used to be able to go to um, Walmart and buy um, <clears throat> the guns. But like, no, um, like uh, B, BB guns. You could still do that. Yeah, you could still. You could buy pellet guns. But like the ones guns. that you put the cartridge, the the CO two yeah. cartridge in that, like oh, real, like yeah. you could really do damage with it. Dude, you could buy shotguns. And, like not shotguns, but you could buy like <clears throat> actual guns at Walmart. We had man, we got into so much fucking trouble with that gun. There was three times that we got in the because it looked real. First of all, the first time we got into trouble with it is because I was in the car. With my uh, my friend Polo, and he's sitting in the passenger seat, and uh, there's a minivan in front of us, and there's like these two grade school kids in the back window, like making fun of us. And he's like, "Man, fuck those bitches!" And I was like, "Dude, that's just those. They're just kids." Yeah. And he's like, "No, fuck them!" And then he pulls a gun out, and then he's like, <laughs> he's like pointed at them, and. <laughs> And then they went ape shit, and you could see him silently going nuts in the car, right? And then I get up, and he's like, ah, that was so funny. And then I get up to the light, and then the van, like, stopped all the way behind me, right? Yeah. And then I went over to Polo's house. It turns out that she, um, she held back there to get, to get my license, license plate. He and then my dad, the my dad called my cell phone, and he's like, son, get home right fucking now. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and then me and Polo went back to my dad's house, and there was cops all over the place. Like several? Yeah, and then they interviewed us separately, and they interviewed him first, and they were like... And then he came out and he was like, don't tell him fucking anything. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man, I got your back. And then I went in there and I was like, it's a fake gun, we got it at Walmart, and we already got rid of it. Actually, that was the last story. That was when I'd, I actually disposed of it in a pond like I was a fucking... Like you just killed somebody? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I gotta get rid of this thing. It's a toy gun from fucking Walmart. But um, as far as the animal story goes, like, um, again, we were sitting in the car. It was just always in my car. And it's like, hey, uh, <clears throat> see if you can't shoot that seagull. And I was like, okay. And then I just did it. And it got him right through the neck. And he was like, eh! And then he just, he plopped over like a bag of shit. I felt so fucking horrible. I got out of my car and I went over to the seagull. And I picked him up. I picked up his lifeless little body. And it's so weird because their necks in real life are only like two inches long. Well, not when they're dead. But when I picked up his body, his his head dangled and his neck stretched out like a spaghetti noodle. Yes. And it was, his neck was like a foot long. And then I, I ran to the veterinarian. I was like, fix the bird. And the whole time, his head was like Look. flopping like a slinky. And then I passed it over to the vet. And the vet was like, what do you want me to do with this? I was like, I don't know. Can you fix it? And she's like, it's dead. I'll see what I, I can do. And I know that she, I know she just took it to the back and threw it in the trash. <laughs> the trash. But I felt so horrible after doing that.